Well, she certainly was affected by it, and she looks sadly disappointed there. She didn't run well at all, though. I think, I think it was academic, the fact that she got squeezed, because she was beginning to run out of legs, and they took so much out of her in the last 30, 40 yards that um, Christina Boxer just hasn't come to form this season. Just to isolate that incident for a moment, watch 785 come through on the inside. Now, Brendan, you really, according... Forgetting the fact that Boxer may not have qualified, as I said uh, there. I mean, the girl on the inside is going for a space that's not available, really. And that's not according to the rules. Well, if that was a horse race and they had what they call a steward's inquiry, number 785 would have been disqualified. And uh, it didn't affect the result, and they also have that complication in horse racing. But if they go by the rules, then number 785 did break the rules. I think so, too, actually. Um... Chris Boxer would be the first to say, probably, that she was going to finish sixth in the end in that race. And having said that, middle distance running is becoming a little bit rough. There are large fields, very competitive fields, very few seconds separating the top people, and it's become quite physical, hasn't it? It has, but they're getting a bit silly about it because they're going for gaps that don't really exist. And there she's coming through, she's leaning on Chris Boxer. Chris is fatigued and she's tiring, and she's not big enough to hold her off. Number 785 there is, is a much bigger competitor than Chris. But then after she's done that, she's, she deals with uh, Zola Budd in the later stages. I wouldn't like to mix it with her in a race 